How did you like the taste of battle? That was... exhilarating. <laughs> Reminds me of my younger days. Had you not delayed those reinforcements, we might never have succeeded. You're brave for a priest. Do not underestimate the faithful. We give our lives to a god we cannot see or touch. There is no greater... So, my Yals, Connor, it seems we have won. A great victory. Not even these walls could stand against us. This land will be ours in time. What now for you? Uba and I will go west, driving to Saxons before us. Alfred will not hold a crown much longer. I hope one day to see you both there. I would like that. There is uh, one more thing. What are you doing still talking to me? Enough goodbyes. Go to Sigurd. Yes. Be well, Oba. Novid, the settlement looks quite festive. The Yule celebration is here. It's midwinter, Eivor. Time to drink, fight, and compete in hopes of a bounteous harvest. Yolnir, the Yule god, smiles on us. The days will soon grow longer, my friend. It's all a glorious rebirth about to begin. And you did all this? Not exactly. On a scouting mission, Sunyva and I met a group of, uh, uh, we call them revelers. They did most of the work. Sunyva's manning the fistfight tournament. <laughs> All in good fun. Meanwhile, I have opened my own shop. Rather than silver, we use what I call Yule tokens. I made them myself. They certainly look homemade. Thank you, yes. Now. Before we begin our celebrations, we need to get the brewery and the cattle farm ready for the Yule Feast. And you'd like me to do that, I suppose? I would. And since I'm so fond of you, have some Yule tokens. I expect to see you at the celebrations later. The Wolfka! So glad to see you. Y'all, back where you belong. Oh, I missed you, my brother. Yeah. 
day you miss me? Yeah. Once or twice a year. What? It took you time to find me. Was it for this? To enjoy your time on my throne? I did only what you asked of me. And you slew all those who questioned you. That is not what happened. Ranvi, Ranvi will tell you. Oh, yeah. We'll see. My dear wife. Brought to me as a gift by her clan to pacify my ambition. Yes, I'm sure she will be the one to tell me the truth. What did that witch Fulke do to you? You cannot even begin to imagine the things I've seen. What I've learned. Born of gods is who I am. A lord of war. A Roman mart. I know who I am. I know my destiny. And you will not hinder me! Brother, forgive me. I am faint. Tired of the day and all that has passed. I need air. He's been this way since his return. Could you speak with him? Settle his mind? I can try. Stand with cheer, one and all. Today is a day of celebration. Our Jarl is with us. Tonight, Basim, will you not join us? In time, I may celebrate. But tonight is a melancholy mood. I would rather sit here quietly, alone, with my thoughts. I understand. Do not let Sigurd's present mood upset you. He spoke warmly of you as we sailed here. I believe he still trusts you more deeply than he can express. We trust each other. That is clear. Enjoy the feast, Eivor. Where's Sigurd? Spread your wings, Sunan. There you are, brother. What are you doing here? I was looking for you. Sigurd. Dark died defending my honor? So he claimed. But he was a fool. My honor needs no defense. It is stone solid. Unblemished. I offered him a way out, but... Shh. Say nothing more of the past. It is gone. There is a rift as deep as death between then and now. I was tested, Eivor, in a crucible of blood and fire. And in my agony, I was reborn. You may think me less than I was, but this is not so. I am greater than before. My mind is a wellspring of prophecies, visions that tell me who I truly am. For all that, I am grateful for my suffering. Sigurd, I want to understand, but all this, all you say makes little sense. Basim saw these things in me. Fulke, too. Despite her cruelty, she spoke the truth. I am more than the man I was. More than this hobbling stick that stands before you. 
You must look harder, Eivor. Deeper. See for yourself what they found in me. Do you see it? My greater self. I... I don't know what that means. Look. This is the face of a god. I see only my brother and my truest friend returned to where he is loved and cherished. Where he's meant to be. You're kind. But your eyes are clouded by the past. A place I can no longer see. I fear our paths diverged long ago. Go. I wish to be alone. Return to my feast and drink for me. Celebrate the days to come in my name. Now it seems the wind calls me back to Ranji. Let's tell her the good news. We'll need to raise the barn if we're going to get the farm ready for the festival. Good day. What happened yesterday? You and Sigurd disappeared during the feast. And when he returned, he went straight to our room without a word. We talked for a time. I asked many questions, but got few answers. I wish I could say more. Sigurd wants to blame me for every mishap that has befallen him, but gives me no credit for his rescue. I don't understand. Yet he does speak with you. With me, he has gone totally silent. So, what now? This is for Sussex. We burned it to the ground to save one man. Yet he is barely the man we were searching for. Quite so.
May I see your stores? Anything else I can do for you? I must take my leave. So long. Eivor! Glad then to see you! I've got some new pieces with your name. I would like to see what you have in stock. You should buy that. Only a fool would pass this up. Yes, great purchase. I mean that. This would suit you, I think. for you. Eivor, you should definitely get this. Made from only the finest materials. You will get so much use out of this. You should get that. Honestly. Is that everything? I must be on my way now. Goodbye. What have you got for me today? Anything you find. 
time. Done shopping for the day? I will see you later, friend. Always a pleasure, Eivor. I want to see the Alliance map. What of Essex? We received a summons from the Elderman and his Lady of Colchester, requesting you specifically for a matter of great secrecy. Foreboding. And who is this Elderman? One of King Alfred's lackeys? According to my scouts, he is a man who cares more for his own indulgences than the safety of his people. Approach with care. What about Lincolnshire? A rather boisterous man named Hunwald arrived recently, wishing to speak with you. On a matter of great importance, he said. Where is he now? Down at the docks, carousing with my scouts and scaring the fish from the river. He waits for you with great eagerness. He sounds charming. I will meet him at once. Protect your ears.
Do you see? Nyorla, your drunken laments ripple through Asgard. What has brought you to this state? I have a beautiful uh, <clears throat> beach home in Neutun. The most perfect place in... But is it enough to make Skadi happy? <laughs> she is Jotun. You should have known this before you married her. 
She chose me. Can I help it that I have such beautiful feet? You cannot keep this up. Your wailing will summon a sea storm. I care not. I have mead enough to keep me warm till... till Dilskadi and her clan return to their frigid homeland. Maybe they will, but not before plundering the vast riches from your beautiful home. I had not thought of that. By Emir's balls! I must return to shore! Bring me a boat! I still have my pride. I refuse to swim like a fish. Fisher, fisherman! Bring me a boat! as cold as her mountain peaks. Having a Jotun for a wife cannot be easy. The only time she ever really smiled was when that coat nearly ripped Loki's balls off. I remember thinking, that one is cruel. And magnificent! But the pleasure was not worth the pain. And now I have her whole, whole cursed clan to deal with. I know a rune that will dull the edges of their weapons. Only if it's blunt. I hope you find peace, noble Njorda. A bad match can be troublesome, but not worse than having nothing to love. My home at Noah too will bring pleasure enough. But what about you, wily one? What do you love? Knowledge, Sea King, and the pursuit of it. Untangling mysteries, uncovering lore. That is what feeds me. Then from what I know...
fight, but I wish there were more! <laughs> the sky itself shatters before your might, Thor. Death to all your blood! Asgard belongs to the Aesir! We are undefeated! Thoughts are clouded with shadows of doom. 
Even this peaceful valley seems to hold hidden dangers. Let's see you, old friend. Sunstone has been moved. The light's path is shifted. Loki said you'd be here. He told me of the Builder's request, an offer that gives me great worry. Why was this passage blocked? Has someone been here recently? Do you hear me, Javi? This Builder is a stranger to us. We know not what he intends. I am the King of Asgard, Tyr. Do not question my desire to protect her. Calm, old friend. What's needling you? The Nornir told me I would die at Ragnarok. They described the scene of my passing. 
All but a few will perish in the final battle. We know this. Yet we will die well, and live again in great and glorious tales. I will need your strength in the coming days, to anchor me, to challenge me, to pull me back from the abyss should I teeter. And I will, as long as breath fills me. So I must caution you. Step with care in this place. What happens here may ripple through the fabric of the Nine Worlds. The well is sealed. Someone labors to keep me out. Perhaps it is meant as a warning. I will take it as a challenge. I recall there being more light in here. These sunstones are meant to guide the light, but the path has been diverted. What if an invader was trying to weaken the well's defenses? Are we meant to intervene? The integrity of this sacred place must be preserved. But whether we be a bane or a boon remains to be seen. There are two targets the light must strike, but only one stream. How do two farms share one source of water? By splitting the stream. Once or twice, the light has found its mark, the stone is lit. I doubt the Nornir will appreciate our visit. The curious are not welcome here. We will have come and gone before they feel our presence.
Well is open to us. I will lead. Take what you need and do it quickly. We should not linger. Here. I'll suffer no wolves in Asgard. This is a sacred place. Killing here is forbidden. You know this, Javi. Hush 
your mind flat you? You act as though possessed by the spirit of another. My mind is my own, dear. But you pose a curious thought. Could one mind usurp another's? The huga of one in the body of someone else. Are you drunk on these waters? Take your flask, forget the wolf, and let us be gone. Before the Nornir weave us a pair of shackles. Take this beast. I want it caged. I would have every wolf and dog in Asgard caged if I could. To ease your troubled mind, I will do as you ask. We need you focused for the coming war. Thank you, Courage Bringer, for your steady hand. When one descends this deep, there's no going back up. Then the only way is further down. entered the well, did you not? And you found what you were looking for? I have a skin of sacred water, yes. Is the builder preparing his demonstration? How did the well look? Peaceful? Calm? Quiet? What are you driving at, Loki? Driving at? I'm only curious. The well is a wondrous place. I wish I could see it for myself. There was a wolf cup with us, trespassing on sacred ground. But Tyr took care of it. Took care of it? Is he dead? The wolf lives. But Tyr will cage the beast that is whole. I want no free wolves in Asgard. Ah, yes. Good. A wise decision, Harvey. I wanted to kill it, but Tyr stayed my hand. Tyr is pragmatic, and it serves him well. You should heed him more often. Now tell me plainly, where is the Builder? In a meadow not far from here. Your raven may find the way. <laughs> 